working, your box is still in the way. <laughs> Just explaining training effusion and their neck. So right now, if I was to get a tape measure and measure the length of his neck, I don't know, it might be a metre. What Frisians can do is they shorten it all up and they tuck it in and it actually becomes like 30 centimetres. So it's really important when you write a Frisian to teach them how to stretch their neck, which means, yes, we do put it down. And I know there's some people that don't agree with that or have a view around that, and I love it. I think every human is entitled to an opinion and every human is entitled to a view. I just wish humans as a society could share their difference in opinion and could share their difference in view nicely. Wouldn't that be a novel a novel thing for everyone to understand that their point of view is right for them but isn't right. Like I love, there is nothing in the world that's right or wrong. It just, it's perspective. So, yeah, um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm feeling like I don't want to, to do my training session with Ollie because I do know that there's some people that uh, will judge me for it. But um, I want to help you guys. I want to show you all different horses and, um I, I love riding this horse. Out of all the horses I ride, he's my favourite. So I wanted for him to have a go. So, uh, yeah, see you, YouTube and Instagram. Um, you, this will get, you can go over to Facebook, you're riding success, uh, facebook.com backslash you're riding success, or it'll be posted on your channels later as a replay. All right, and then we got to get... If, if my headphones stay in. Yeah, okay, so we'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for being patient, Facebook. Give me a hello, hello, hello. And um, I'd love for you to post what are you grateful for the most if, when you're watching me on Facebook. What are you grateful for today? What has happened today that you can be grateful for? What are you grateful for having? What are you grateful for experiencing? And it could have been the worst day ever. I get that but there's always something to be grateful for. I don't think you guys can hear it, but it is pouring with rain. It's a real, it's our first winter's day. Phil nearly just broke the laptop. Um, so can you just tell me if you can't hear me for some reason, but hopefully the headphones are working. All right, so like I said, Frisians like to be short in the neck. So if a Frisian is short in the neck, we need to lengthen the neck. And the way we lengthen the neck is I have to get it down. Um, what else was I going to say? Yes, he is in a double. That's because Frisians, um, when you get to a certain level, he's now advanced level. Um, uh, well, they don't. They used to have to be in double bridles. Now they can be in snaffle or doubles. But if you want to compete internationally in small tour or big tour, they still have to be in double bridles. So once my Frisians go into a double, they just do better. They just stay in the doubles. Yeah, they do. Um, all right, so we're going to start trotting in. No, I wasn't going to do questions unless there's someone who needs. Uh, I think my headphones are not going to work. Okay, so I want him firstly to trot forward. So I'm just, I, I want him to feel that he's taking me around the arena. So do I need to circle or? <laughs> we have a dog in here. <laughs> Sky, out, or just stay there. Good dog, good horse, good dog. There you go, we always have some fun. Okay. All right, so he feels really nice and forward. Probably the dog has helped with that. I don't know if circling's easier for you, Phil. <laughs> Okay, so yes, what is my markers? Is the horse forward? Yes, he is. Is he stretching through the neck and taking my contact down? Yes. Is he feeling even in both reins? Yes, but I'll just yield him off to the, yield him off the, you know, I ride quicker than I can talk. What's the side? My right. Yep, so I felt he's a little block to the right. I'm just going to yield him off the right. Good boy. And then I want him to stretch. Forward, forward, stretch, yield off the right. Oh, yes, there's a dog, so you're going to be happy to yield off the right there. <laughs> She's just going to stay there. No, no, she can stay. So I know Ollie might want to look at her. You're okay. He's actually just being really kind. He doesn't squash her. Good boy. 
And then now on this side, I go, does he feel the same on this side as he did on the other side? Yes. Is he stretching? Is he forward? Is he taking my hand? Is he taking my body? Remember, I want to feel that my horse takes me somewhere. Take me away. Take me away. Good boy. <laughs> yes, take me away. And then again, the yielding of the left will be easy. The dog's there anyway. Yeah, so the left feels really supple and he's happy to yield off it. Not so much off the right. And always with him, every horse, you know, has something. Every rider has something. And for Ollie, he's a little bit stiff to the right. So I'm constantly working. And that means he likes to fall in a little bit on the right. So I'm just going to ask for a shoulder in. An exaggerated bend in the shoulder in. To really open up that side of him and get him to stretch and be more supple on that side. Good boy, you look so good in the gold. And now I'm going to use leg yield to change direction. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then we're going to canter. And again, do you take me where I need to go? It's all right. Yes, I know the dog's there. <laughs> and I don't feel that he's taking me, so he's going to go for a bit of a gallop. Oh, because you want to poo, I don't care. You can gallop and poo at the same time. Now I've got forward. <laughs> now I've really got forward. <laughs> and I want to giggle. I want to feel that I go, oh, I'm going really forward. I always want to feel... And I'm going a little bit forward than what I would like. Then I know the horse is really in front of the leg, really taking me to where I need to go. I know, but can you go? You're doing such a good job, Phil. How about I circle around you? Does that help you? All right, I'm going to take him a little bit into a working pure work. Ooh, okay, come on. Good boy. All right, on a working pirouette. The quarters are going to come in a little bit. We need a bit more bend. We need a bit more go. He almost collects too much and makes it too hard for him. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> and then he says, get off. It's hard. And I go, I know. I know it's hard. Yeah, good boy. Good boy for trying. 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 <laughs> and he says, I want to try. Come on. A little bit more. I know. I know. <laughs> and you have to giggle. You know, he's like, oh, it's the morning. I'm just going to go for a gallop and say, hey. You're going to go forward. It's all right. I'm coming back around. You feel? <laughs> See, sometimes he gets a little bit stuck. But he has to. Good boy. He has to stay soft through his body. Wow, he collects. Yeah. We just do this exercise every day. Build his strength. Build his composure. Good boy. Okay. Hey. Now we're going to look at the change. He had some funny changes, so just be nice. Ah, 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 ah. He knew the change was coming. You can just change back then, and then you're ready. <laughs> so, what do you do? As I said, he's a bit trigger happy with the change. Change and wait until I ask. Wait until I ask. And three, two, one, and yeah. Well, they're not on the aid when I want them. They're trigger happy, going crazy when I don't want them. Training horses, hey? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to come around, Phil. We're going to have to collect, bud. Oh, so I'm using my body. And he goes, trot. And I go, no, no, the hard one. And I go, well, this one. This one's hard, baby. Good boy. You can do it. You can do it. Good boy. You can do it. 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 Come on. Come on. 
Come on. <laughs> and you tried really hard on that one. We'll go for another change. And wait. Because you can't do a change clean when you keep rooting around. Um, now I'm going to go to my three changes. But you have to wait. Wait. No. 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 Wait. All right, that was just one. And you can see I came off his back to get it. Regions, learn the changes. All different. All right, we're going to have three tempies. Just wait. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, so that was three changes. That one we have. He likes doing them, but he just... Needs time to figure out where his body is. Sometimes he likes me to get out of the way. Okay. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you are so fun. And like I said, this is not proper training. Well, it is. It's proper training. Tash Frisian style. This is not how I train any other horse. <laughs> How to do changes which is why i wanted to show you this is a workout for me i'm just laughing out of control going around the arena and his way and don't try and tell him how it should be he actually does better when i try and sit into him and try and control him he um he gets all confused <laughs> do we have some comments <laughs> oh, like the abs from what? Oh no, he he doesn't really work my abs too much. He's okay. He is. He tries so hard, and like I said, if I get involved, he can't figure it out. He just has to know what he's doing, and that's the same way I taught Arba. So you guys know I have a circus brat dance. <laughs> What's it called? Backgrounds. Not that I've ever worked in a circus, but that's my lineage, and that's how I train them. I train a trick, not so much um, dressage, which is why I love the warm bloods. Like the warm bloods, you can really, you know, a fine change in a warm blood is completely your creation. It's it's completely, you know, you can make it more expressive. You can do so many things with it. With these guys, you just have to tell them that's what you want, and then let them figure it out so cute <laughs> yeah he, he's very very he's just got an amazing hind end no no we're not done i'm just having a rest oh <laughs> oh i'm glad I, i'm glad our antics make you smile they make me smile <laughs> If the horse won't bend from a rain aid, I mean, you have to push the body. So if the horse wasn't bending to the right, and like I said, Ollie's sometimes a bit stiff to the right, I just yield him over. So he's, his body's in a shape, that means he has to. Good guess, guy. <laughs> All right, so normally that's, that's where I leave the can to work. So we're just gonna go a little bit into, <laughs> he knows what we're doing. <laughs> so we're going to go into the trot work now he really likes his PF work he doesn't like cassage so much he doesn't really understand it but I like PF work too <laughs> and he really struggles you can see he knows what the hind leg should be doing. He's not quite sure what the front leg should be doing. <laughs> and Arva was exactly the same. <laughs> so I have so much fun training him because it's it's like I'm back 15 years ago. Well, I only I wasn't training Arva this stuff five years ago, so maybe 12 years ago. And I get to do it all again. And it's so bloody exciting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me take that into the side. 
<laughs> now you gotta go forward. Can you go forward? Forward, 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 forward. Yeah, yeah, but up. But up. <laughs> forward and up. Yeah. Like, and you can't, like, get it. <laughs> and you can't, like, don't. So, yeah, we're working on that. Just give us another year. We'll get it. All right. Any other questions or comments? How's your arm going? <laughs> this is not square. Is it square? Oh, we're moving. <laughs> the square hold comes from having the hind legs engaged. So if I just dropped him, I wouldn't think this would be square. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah, well, our biggest thing is, especially with a stallion, to hold. That's what I should be training. Shouldn't be training calf. I should be training holding my halts. Can you stand still? Can you wait? Can you wait? Can you wait? Oh, good boy. <laughs> And yeah, normally I'll just finish with some trot work. It's a real forward trot. Right, look at half pass. So I'm coming to you, Phil. My hand trying to that. I'm just coming out. I'm using my hands over to the outside for a half pass. I just need to really make sure I keep that shoulder. All right, if you are. Up to half past work. Just try moving your hands to the outside and get a bit of a different feel. <laughs> oh, sky. She's so cute. I know. She's like, I don't know. It's a big horse. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. And again, I go, okay, still got our right issue. Half past more than a good to the right as it was to the left ah so that's bad training he knows we hot rain back and now he's anticipating the rain back we know that's not square but we also have to work on just getting it immobile sometimes the good thing about these horses nah, ah, ah is um yeah the good thing about these horses is they anticipate everything and they learn what they should be doing so it's not square but it's a mobile so i'm going to take it <laughs> Who's done that? Tried to fix their square hole and ended up making it worse. <laughs> yeah, well, he's a bit unco. <laughs> Alright, and. Ah, 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 don't move, don't move. So, again, my bad. Come on. Good boy, just hold it there. But I gotta move. No, he'll you'll see when he looks at himself. <laughs> Good boy, we're okay. But that's why it's so important to train the immobility, because that's where he's struggling. Cool. So that's our workout. I don't think it's even been fifteen minutes. I don't work these horses hard. I play with them. I literally come out, I play in the sandbox, and then they get to go out into the paddock. I don't know if they're going out today though. It's pouring with the rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is my literal walk. I love to find out where he wants to go. He normally goes to the gate. What are you? Yeah. I don't know. I got it. I think I think someone someone got it for me for Christmas like three Christmases ago. Isn't it the best ever? My pleasure, guys. Thank you for being thankful. Oh, 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 oh. Look at him. He's so confused. He's like, well, I'm letting him decide. <laughs> they can see you. Say hi. Would you prefer? Well, he will stop it the next time.
now it's dropped. Um, yes, uh, what are we talking about? Lesson plans, lesson training, training plans. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, this is this is me. I really wanted to show you this side of me. So there's a side of me that's very serious and very training and very um, outcome focused. This, hey, don't do that. This is play. This is fun. Um, so you really got to think about your goals. My goals with him is um, to get to Grand Prix, but to I can't. this horse, Arba. A lot of the horses, the, the Frisians I come across, won't go to Grand Prix the traditional way. So you either become a trainer that thinks outside the box, um, brings the irreverence and the playfulness in, and therefore you can get the horse there anyway. Um, yeah, so what am I saying? I wouldn't model this as a training session unless your goal is to have to play and have fun. But it's not, it's not an example of correct dressage training. An example of training, but I wouldn't say correct dressage training. Unless you're trying to get a Frisian to Grand Prix, yeah, but <laughs> then I would model it. <laughs> have I ever trained a stand bread? I never have. Oh, I've given a couple of lessons and I loved the challenge of getting it to canter. And the two I worked with definitely did find their canter and it was very fun. Well, you'll notice when I started, I did all my trot work rising to warm up. So I always warm them up in rising trot and I always finish with sitting trot and do my trot work at the end. It's just how I do it. It's no right or wrong. Um, but I go rising trot, warm up, canter, warm up, canter, hard work, trot, hard work, which is obviously in the sitting. And then if he'd worked super hard, you can see he's not sweating. He, he hasn't had a long session. If I did a super long session, I would have trotted him again, really deep and round and stretching again so he can unblock everything. Oh, I'd love to come to New Zealand. We were on a cruise there a year and a half ago and we loved it. Your air is so clean. And you have cold water. I swam with dolphins and um, I've never, never stopped. Oh, I shrieked for five minutes, didn't I, Phil? It was very cold. Because Phil said, oh, yeah, it's okay, you've got a wetsuit. So I went, oh, cool. So the wetsuit, like, I don't feel the water. No, I didn't know the water had to come in first. No, I did not know that. He bulges and won't go forward on the right. No, I don't know that's right. But if your horse is bulging this way, you have to shut down the shoulder. So put his head to the outside and almost bring, don't cross your hand over, but bring it a little bit to your belly button and, and use your right leg to and open up your left frame and open, use your right leg to push the shoulder so I could hit Phil. Bang, bang. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how you can control the shoulder. Uh, so if you, if you know that your horse is bulging, bend the horse to the outside and make him fall to the inside. Yeah, that's our time check. Oop, oop. <laughs> go, go show it to my kids. Oh, okay, guys, come here. Come say hi. Do you want to come in? Come in. So, guys, this is um, okay. Whoop. Do you want to give Ollie a pat? Or you want to stand over there? <laughs> do you want to tell the camera how good, what did you guys do yesterday in your riding? Oh, they can't hear you. They canted for the first time. They were so amazing. Um, we will definitely be showing you some footage. So tomorrow I'm not riding. I'd love to hear, please post below what you would like to see me do. Um, I thought it would be cool if Phil and I sat by the piano and sung you some songs. Phil went, please don't do that. I don't want to sing in front of thousands of people. And I said, why? It's funny because Phil and I, well, Phil's a great singer. I'm an okay singer. But when we sing together, 
like we try and harmonize, but I can't harmonize. So it's just the most funniest thing. And I thought it would be funny, but if the singing's out, what would you like me to do? Would you like, um, yeah, there's so many different things we can do. I'd love to hear your comments of what you'd like to do hanging out together tomorrow. Um, also make sure if you're on Facebook to hit the like button for your writing success. So, um, you make sure that you like the page, therefore you'll be notified when I go live. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube and Instagram, subscribe to YouTube and follow on Instagram. If you guys um, haven't checked out my YouTube channel, there's a million free videos there. Well, not a million, that is exaggerating, but plenty of free videos there to help you in your writing. So go check that out and hit the subscribe button. Ollie, don't eat the camera. Um, thank you so much for enjoying that. Like I said, um, it, it, I don't know how that's going to go down for you guys to see that session and I hope that you enjoyed um, seeing me play because I certainly do like to play and it certainly wasn't perfect. So love to you all. Have an amazing day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.